broke it. Well, oh, it started. Hi! <laughs> We're only starting now because Steve's a jerk. <laughs> and he gets mad when... You're not really a jerk, Steve. I'm just kidding. He gets he gets upset when Brian doesn't start on time, but he's indisposed. And we had, he had been at a gathering for our friend Jennifer, who had to see her celebrating her birthday. So I'm going to try and play... Um, a song that Brian just taught me, and I'm gonna fail. So just be nice and kind, and and it'll be hilarious and dumb. Blackbird singing in the dead of night. Take these broken wings and learn to fly. Oh, see, I already messed up. <laughs> See, I messed it all up. This is so embarrassing. This over. is why I don't do anything. You sound like just like me. Why don't you start it off? Oh. <laughs> I've been singing in the dead of night. Take these broken wings and learn to fly. See? Oh. And now, see, I've forgotten. I should have practiced first. I just need Bernie here. This is off. There's six people watching. This is the worst. Ugh. I thought it sounded pretty good. No, it was bad. I'm time. doing it wrong. <coughs> I've forgotten it. Yeah, but your voice is awesome. No, that's not true. Ugh, this is embarrassing. See, this is embarrassing. See, no. forgot it. I don't want to do this anymore. I'm embarrassed. I feel like I'm in grade school. <laughs> hey, everybody. Uh, oh, this is awful. Yeah, your voice sounds good. On no, that nothing <laughs> sounds good at all. Oh, thanks, Brian. You're really, you're sweet. I, I need to, I forgot it. Just like I told you, Bernie, when I tried to Oh, oh, there we go. Blackbird singing in the dead of night. Take these broken wings and learn to fly. No, I don't. I, I want to quit. I'm just embarrassed. <coughs> the worst thing ever. I can't believe I did that. I might cry. I think it's gonna sound good. Yeah, but your voice on that song is going to be really cool. <laughs> Hi, Steven. <laughs> All right. Well, that was fun. Seeing our friends. Our artistic music friend types. Who I miss greatly. <laughs> This, I don't know if I played this song like four months ago. My friend Chris hires me to play music with him. Great guy. Uncle Chris, we call him. He's an old guy. Walks with a cane. Always played rugby, so his back's all screwed up. And he pays you in twos. Give me a hundred bucks in twos once. One time it was $75. Gave me a... Uh, 37 twos and a dollar coin. Exactly. 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 Hey, Pickle says you're still better than Ringo. Pickle says you're still better than Ringo. <laughs> she was, that made her upset. <coughs> I think Ringo's awesome. So anyway, this guy... He's, he speaks in all these cliches. My ears are throwing a party from my brain. Or when I sit in, he's like, I know you'll be fine. You can jump on a song like a dog on a bone. So I wrote this song. 
Well, my ears are throwing a party for my brain. Cause Uncle Chris is singing his song again. And if he asks me with a grin, if I'd like to sit in, don't you know that I'll be the king? Sing me a song, Uncle Chris knows one that goes like this. And after all, you tell me it's day. Cause I can jump on the song like a dog on the bone. Well, he's walking with a limp Cause his back is a wreck And when it comes to cursing He just says what the heck Cause he's cheerful and joyful Even when he's got the blues He paid me for this show With a handful of tunes Sing me a song, Uncle Chris You know the one that goes like this After all, you tell me it's me Cause I can jump on Yeah, that's the other thing. He never curses. He'll curse, like, quietly under his breath to you in a story. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I know, I... You know, I repeat myself. I repeat myself. Um, I forget which stories I've told. Speaking of repeats, I'm going to play the Stymie song. <laughs> We used to play this song. Me and Steve would play guitar on the street, and this guy would sing, and he'd gather crowds and make lots of tip money. And uh, this is one of his songs. Hey, not have a Most of these songs, I can do the two of them that I know. I 
is it all these people with the least to brag about? Brag about it all the time. Agreed, Uncle Bill. Agreed. Agreed, 100%. It was a great opening. I'm one by the who. I feel like um, somebody mm -hmm. rang our doorbell. Could you? Yeah. Thanks, dear. Hi. Would you like to sing a song or something? Right. Too short notice. If you think of one in the next five minutes or so. All right, here's the Gary Davis song that I love to play. If you could, please. Oops. There it is. As it dies, I need a new gal. She won't mind. Tell me how long do I have to wait? Can I get you now? Lord, must I hesitate? Well, the eagle on the dog says, In God we trust. Want that woman? She gotta see that dollar first. Tell me how long do I have to wait? Can I get you now? Love must I hesitate?
well at the Red Wolf Whiskey. And I was a duck. I'd swim down to the bottom. Oh, I'll never come up. Tell me how long do I have to wait? Can I get you now? Lord, must I hesitate? That's a good song too. Uh, I can't do it. I don't remember how. I I definitely played it, but I was like, "What? How does this go?" I'll do a Buck Owens song though. Let's see. Uh, do 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 do. Uh, okay. It's funny, I don't know any of the uh, titles of Porno for Pyros was an album. We just listened to the whole thing as one song, except for Pets. But I don't know the titles. I want, I'm, I'm curious to see what song that is, Brian. <laughs> What else? 
Yes. Yeah. Um, I will make a note and do some of these. <laughs> There, it should sound like somebody stopped the tape, then started again, then stopped it, then started again. You know, that's what should happen there. You know, there's a little glare. That's a little better.
it's sort of a uh, it's a sweet song it's kind of like a uh, it's like a nursery rhyme but like a child <laughs> Try this one. I haven't done this one in a while. Elliot, the little Elliot Smith here. Little Elliot always calms me down after after some kinks. Oh yeah, the capo adds a few pounds. Always looking for that perfect microphone angle. And by looking, I mean randomly placing microphones around. If I look up the lyrics. Oh! It's the other cat's meow. It's much more, uh, well, it's, it's a little gentler. Let's see who's kidding who. All right. I have not prepared 
I haven't played this song since probably, oh, 89? Wait a minute. Oh, it's the wrong song title. I should learn that one too. I'm going to leave that up there because I really need to learn that song. Sorry, you guys. Got the title wrong. What's the name of that song? Mother Goose. <laughs> if you knew the answer, that was probably driving you nuts. All right. I'm glad I made that mistake because now I will learn that other song, which. Okay. the timing of that one line must have been at least a hundred must have been at least a hundred school I don't know anyway a funny little tune as always with Jethro Tull totally bizarre lyrics what is he talking about I guess Mother Goose turned a bunch of animals loose in the middle of London I don't know it's kind of weird 
But that's tall, you know? They're a weird band. That's why some people like them. <laughs> but some people don't. out of town.
know, of course I, you know, there's, there's only 12 notes. I, I steal everything. <laughs> That's funny. Well, it's there. It, it's very E major. very EBA major no jazz notes so yeah that doesn't sound right without the resonator guitar doesn't it that's funny I should learn a dire straight song I don't, <clears throat> I don't know any what did he do center field walk of life I have center field and walk of life are stored in the same uh, cluster of brain cells for me. I don't know about you guys. <clears throat> wrong side of town. Wow, you don't wake up in the morning thinking that you're going to play wrong side of town. Okay, can I see the wrapper when you're done with it? Yeah. No rush. Oh, such a pleasure to see Rob Hill today, my my trusty number one bass player and Boise bass player buddy. As a bass player, you know, it's harder to, you can't do solo gigs. Well, you could, I guess. I'm going to play one of his songs. This is uh, Rob's original composition. Rob is so good. At bass? Well, just or just as person. a person? Both. It's a ice pop with vodka in it. And what is this? What flavor is this? Uh, Both the lime. Lime? It has cat hair on it. It doesn't matter. So yeah, we got a bunch of ice pops. <laughs> it's called them. Lime Drop. Lime drop, like that's what's gonna happen to you after you eat this. Vodka with natural flavor. You're gonna and drop. And C, yellow number five. That's the under part <laughs> in the title. Yellow number five? Flavor in F, D, and C, yellow number five. It's always yellow number five. The first four must have been disastrous because it's five that they use for seemingly all different colors as well. I think it's for a shade of your. So anyway, this is his composition, and it's called Sausage Wallet. Oh, time for the big ice cube. Is it? Yeah, look, my ice is all melted. You, you have like six pieces of ice in there. Yeah, but they're all small and melted. I got a system here, sweetheart. I'm sorry, I'm not trying to challenge your system. Okay, here's a, uh, okay, uh, this is a uh, sausage wallet. And he plays all this on bass, but I double it on the guitar. Thank <laughs> you. 
It's really, but it's better with multiple instruments because you can't play all the parts at the same time. But you get the idea. Kind of a new age Bela Fleck sounding kind of song. Yay, Rob. Yay, Rob Hill. All right. Let's see if I can remember how to play this song. I used to play it. I used to play it. I used to play it all the time. Here we go. selection I think those guys are from like uh, Denmark or Holland or something all right well it's good to see a few of you on here uh, Something. 
Um. That's it. Every once in a while, you just you hit the wall. All right, I'll do one more song. Beck song. I'll do that song instead. Because I have to learn that little lick. Thing. It's like, it's like, I don't know what it is, so let's not ruin it now and I'll do a song I know.
Well, Steve, um, the, I could play a Zeppelin song, but those those requests are fraught with problems. Um, the instrumental is uh, I have to retune and I have to leave the guitar in that tuning for like an hour and then tune it again because it's such a weird. I mean, let's, who's kidding who? It's the devil's tuning. Uh, that Zeppelin has on some of their songs, so I, I really can't do that one, but I, I could do it another time, but um, And ten years gone, I, I used to know, but I'm missing a, a whole section and I'm not sure what to play on <laughs> part I don't know. That's probably... Okay, all right, all right, I'll try it. What the heck, right? Borborygmus is, uh, you know, you gotta be, in, you gotta be in the mood for that one. I'll do that at the end, maybe. All right, here we go. And you know what? Let's go ahead and tune into the proper tuning. Another, again, the Zeppelin. With the devil's tuning. Thank you. 
favorite one in the background. All right, something like that. Yeah, so here's the problem. Or why I don't know the chords, because all I ever cared about was the lead parts. I never bothered to learn the chords, because I was selfish and lazy.
Deep Drive is the song I want to hear in the gym. Oh. I can't answer that question. I can only play the song and then see if it is indeed the song you wanted to hear. All right. Let me use the device here because drop D tuning is very traumatic on my poor guitar. All right. Where are we? This is drive, 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 drive. Or simply drive. The first time I played this song with my bass player, Bill Parsons, the bluegrass band, I, as I sang the first line, he, he just went, he's playing along, and he just goes, I remember that. It was three in the morning after the show. The mountain lodge wouldn't let us in. Good thing I had Jackson riding along to go pilot me down the hill. He dropped a bottle of Hennessy into a big gulp. Talk to me all the way down And I was wide-eyed awake With the sun coming up We finally rode into town It's time to the moonlight Just hold the wheel when I like not as tired as I was yesterday, so let's drive. <laughs> Enough is enough. I've already seen the show. I drove to North Carolina to pick up your wreck. Still got eight hours to go. These are only my eyes, and she was only. Sit there in silence, punish me good. Always we're moving along. Let's drive to the morning light. I know you know that you're right, but I'm getting tired.
Is Jim from Kansas at your house? If he is, tell him I said hello. Jim. All right, well, we almost gave up there, but then I got a little recharge. Couple requests, man, go a long way. I appreciate them, you guys. I'm gonna do a couple more. Starting with Steve's outrageous request. Percussion will be drum brushes on a piece of sheet metal, upright bass, accordion, and mandolin, I think, will be the instruments for, uh, how many songs have peristalsis in them? I'll bet you not very many. Maybe that song that Potsy sang, remember when Potsy couldn't learn his uh, anatomy final, so he... So the Fonz told him to write a song with all the biology terms as the lyrics. And then the guy, the professor was like, you cheated. And Patsy's like, no, I didn't prove it. And then he did the song. Pump your blood. Does anyone remember that Happy Days episode? recognize that song tell me what it's from um, in the comments and I'll email you a pizza roll I'm gonna do this song anyway oh see there I just had a hankering for this song it's hot in August, but it's it's nice and dry in Boise in the mountains, and uh, 
So, rise in the cool of the evening is always a great line I always love. I've been drifting along the same stale old shoes. Loose ends right in the news in the back of my mind. You thought that you were making your way to where the puzzles and pagans play. So together, it's a strange sample is from in that song. We must leave now. It's a Ben Morrison singing Baby Blue, I believe. All right, one more song, and I would love to play a GBV. Yeah, you remember that episode? The the teacher was the bad guy, and Potsy couldn't Potsy couldn't study and learn his material. So what did he do? He went to the Fonz. You know why? The Fonz solves problems. That's the story of Happy Days. The Fonz get it gets it done. All right, one more song. Someone tell me why things I want to do Don't know me I'm somebody else Someone tell me why I'm like a fool Things don't go my way Don't know me somebody else
great Robert Pollard. Thank you, Steve, for the request. Thank you, everybody else, for watching. And um, I won't be doing one tomorrow. I have a solo hotel lobby gig. The hotels are open, people. They're pretty good about their masking. Um, I'm totally isolated, but uh, I'll be back on Tuesday. And maybe I can learn some pickles picks by then. Intriguing list as always. So, uh, yeah. Cheers, everybody. Love you guys, and I'll see you next time.